Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cezabu and we're in the sunny and kind of hot, it's not really hot this time of year, Arizona. I'm going to be taking you around some places on my journey and just on my vacation. We're going to go to a couple of stores and we're going to check out the Sea Life Aquarium right now. They have a big thing going on with Animal Crossing. So sit back, relax, listen to the narration, and I hope you enjoy the video. first store we decided to visit is the Toy Temple Arrowhead Mall in Glendale, Arizona. They actually have many locations and in my previous travel video I traveled to I want to say a couple of toy temples but this was the first time visiting this location. They had a lot of stuff. In fact they had a bunch of Pokemon pins and you'll catch what I got later on. They also had really cool prints. They had a ton, and I mean a ton, of pop figures and squishmallows, and they had a binder of cards there as well. They were running a deal, and I believe it was buy two, get one half off on the pins, so I definitely took advantage of that. They had some Gundam figures, and they had some other Pokemon figures that you could put together. It was really cool. Overall, I would say that this was probably one of the best toy temples I had been to after I want to say visiting three or four of them. After getting our shopping done in Glendale, we decided to head over to our second location, which just so happened to be my favorite part of the trip. Welcome to the Sea Life Arizona Aquarium in Tempe, or Tempe, Arizona. I'm not a local, so I really don't know how to pronounce the town name, but I hope I was close. But anyway, there was something really special about this aquarium, especially at this time of year. They were doing the Animal Crossing New Horizons collaboration, and I was ecstatic to see that they were in town. After receiving the My Nintendo points that you get, 100 platinum points, actually can't wait to spend that on the shop, we decided to head on through, and I noticed something really particular about this aquarium. They were really heavily focused on turtles. They had so many turtles. I was so excited. They had rendered sliders, and of course, you'll see it later, sea turtles. I couldn't believe it. So the layout was very nice and very educational while still keeping the Animal Crossing theme. For starters, the song that you're hearing now, they were actually playing throughout the entire aquarium and it really fit the mood. They also had a point where this uh, woman was there and you got to touch sea stars, which was really cool. And also the cardboard cutouts of Isabella and Blathers were giving information on the creatures that lived there. Now this facility, as said before, is really heavily focused on turtles. So they even had like a little center where you could learn about what the process is is for rescuing sea turtles and what they go about releasing them back into the wild. They had, I wanna say maybe two sea turtles there. One was a permanent resident because she could no longer go back and live uh, in the wilderness. So they decided to keep her. But I gotta say, I loved the layout of this aquarium. And even though it was particularly small and located in a mall, it was definitely one of the best aquariums I've been to.
So even though they didn't have like specific merch that said Animal Crossing X Sea Life, they still actually had some Animal Crossing merch. So we decided to pick up a few and after checking out one more store called Tokyo Japanese Lifestyle, we decided to head over to our last and final location. By the way, beware of that mall. They've got maybe three or four different malls to where the merchandise didn't seem a little bit right. So if you're ever going shopping in the area, make sure that you're buying some real stuff. I can say though without a doubt that the Tokyo Japanese lifestyle definitely had legit merchandise imported from Japan. So I definitely decided to pick up a few things. But last but not least, we decided to check out the Collector's Marketplace in Phoenix, Arizona. Once again, if you all checked out my previous travel video on Arizona, we went to their other location and since then they have moved more kind of to the downtown Phoenix area. And like last time, this place has a ton to offer. Legos, comics, collectibles, it's a collector's paradise. And I gotta say, I saw something in there that could not fit in my luggage and I was really disappointed I couldn't go home with it. It was a Lily Simplified Chinese box and I'm pretty sure I'll bring that up at the end of the video when I'm showing you all the stuff that I got. But they also had a wide range of cards as well and so pretty much this store is a geeky's nerd's paradise. So every time I come to Arizona from here on out, I'll probably be visiting this location. It's it's such a great store. They've got plushies too, and they had a lot of anime figurines as well, and collectibles too. So go ahead and check out the rest of the video, and I'll catch you on the flip where I show you everything that I got on my trip.
And we are back from Phoenix, Arizona, and I gotta say, I'm used to some pretty cold weather up in Pennsylvania, but Arizona is experiencing what they like to call a cold front right now of their fall and winter season, and 70 degrees feels really good down there compared to the 30, 40 degrees that we get up here. Let's go ahead and see everything that I got. So, first of all, we're going to start with Fallout games. I did not record that area just because we went to a bunch of them and I don't know if they like really related recording or not, but if I'm down there next time and they do, I'll definitely show you all around the couple of the stores. But we did manage to pick up a Game Boy Color and I'm really super excited to kind of test this out. It's got a little bit of a scratch on the screen, but they told me that it would kind of be a little bit hard to kind of uh, replace the screen because it's kind of custom but overall the system is in really good condition and it really is going to add to my Pokemon video game system collection. So next up from the Sea Life Aquarium they did not have specific merchandise that said Sea Life and Animal Crossing collaboration but they did have Animal Crossing merch there so we got a cute little captain plush which is really cute. I really wanted to get something turtle based because their aquarium really seemed to focus on sea turtles and turtles in general and I love turtles. I also picked up an Animal Crossing shirt as well. I picked up this one. I hope the camera's going to pick that up. It's just a blue one and it's got most of the characters on it. It's got Isabelle and I believe Rosie is who I'm seeing as well. And the little Nookies and KK Slider, then the Villager, and then Tom Nook. Then I also picked up another shirt and it just says Nook Ink on it. It's going to be a really good sleeping shirt. And next, moving on, at that little Tokyo uh, place that I picked up right in the same mall uh, as the aquarium, I got a little Pokemon journal, and it's got Piplup, Score Bunny, Pichu, Pikachu, Esper, and Rowlet, and Alcreamy, which I thought was really adorable. I'm going to be taking a lot of notes in this journal, probably some like ideas for what I'm going to do on some videos coming up. To add to my uh, a lot of pins that I have going on on my bag, Back at the uh, t Toy Temple, we picked up some pins. We have an Ampharos pin, a shiny Mew pin, because who doesn't love shiny blue Mew, and Mimikyu. And lastly, from the collector's market, my boyfriend picked up a ton of games, which they kind of don't match the aesthetic of the channel, but we picked up some DS games. We picked up a Sega Saturn game, which was really cool, but... Here is some stuff from my collection that we got. So we actually picked up some Nintendo Powers that I'm going to be displaying once I finally get an office. I really fell in love with this Pikmin one and I was like, I gotta have it. So we picked up this one. Uh, this has a poster in it and it was $16. Next up, as you all know, we did do a stream of Emerald on the channel. So Emerald, that's right, we picked up this Emerald magazine it says that it has a card in it so i'm not gonna open it but maybe i will kind of take a look at it one day in a short and we'll see if it has the cards in it but this one was 30 dollars, so this will definitely be like displayed with the kind of like a little bit pricey pokemon merch that i have and of course you all know too i've explained it multiple times on the channel i adore paper mario and this one was 25 dollars, and it's going to come with two posters i love paper mario and if you all haven't go play that remake of thousand year door it is so good and last but not least I really wanted this lily box that I saw in there and it was in simplified Chinese and I was like, oh no, I'm not going to be able to bring it back. So I had to leave that behind, but I did pick up a really cool sun and moon guidebook. You all don't know, I love Alola and it's definitely one of my favorite regions and on the inside it's it's so cool. It's so cool. It was in very good condition. It's got some art as well for like some of the characters and I believe too yes it is a guide so it is a guide on the Alola region but that is pretty much everything that I was able to pick up while I was in Phoenix Arizona I had a wonderful time and I love to do travel videos my next biggest trip that I have going on is that I am going on a Disney trip so I don't know if I'm going to record that or not but that'll be in the cold depths of January but of course I'll be in the wonderful beautiful weather of the Bahamas so we have a lot of videos coming up I also am going to be doing a birthday stream on Surging Sparks that just came out while I was actually on my trip and we've got a bunch of booster boxes as well that we're going to be opening up in that stream as well and I'm going to be doing a giveaway too so if you don't want to miss it 
please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll catch you all next time with another video. Thank you all again for the support. See you next time. Bye.